Hi everyone, this is a part of Katie's system, and this is a difficult video. We're going to make it really short, but we just want to give you all an update about accessing. We have spoken on this channel in recent times of having had a recent brief experience with a handler therapist who accessed some of our programming. We only saw him twice to our knowledge, became aware of it right after the second appointment, and I have not seen him again that we know of. But around that time, we saw a cult programmer from our childhood hanging out near our apartment. And mind you, our apartment is located in a town thousands of miles from where we grew up. So... This was very frightening. He said hi to my partner and I. He's very creepy. I immediately recognized him, became aware of who he was, but didn't recover much memory beyond what I already knew. And then um, I wasn't able to think too much about it, even though it did come up, until this morning. I woke up really early, and within a very short time, child alters came up and became, well, they helped us become conscious of the fact that we have been getting accessed by this guy. And I'm sorry for the sound of the train. It loves to go off when I record these videos. I've said that before. It's really frustrating. It triggers us. And I'm sorry if it triggers others. I don't even know if y'all can hear it, but it's triggering me. So, yeah, we became aware of this this morning. I don't have much detail. Uh, I don't know when the last time was that this happened. I just know that apparently sometime in the time we've lived here, this has happened. Um, I'm used to this kind of thing. I'm used to becoming aware of accessing um, long after it's been happening with a particular person. I'll suddenly become aware of that person's involvement. It's really rough. Luckily, to my knowledge, I have not had much attachment to this guy outside of the mind control, as in I haven't ever, to my knowledge, thought that he wasn't involved. Um, but it's still painful. My biggest fear with accessing, naturally, is that my partner with whom I live and spend most of my time is RAMC involved. That would be my biggest fear and the biggest determining factor um, or biggest way of determining really what my true success in deprogramming has been. It wouldn't invalidate the progress I have made, but it would certainly invalidate a lot of the progress I think I've made. As far as I know, my partner is not RMC involved. And a lot of things in my history with him indicate that. Um, the way that he treats me really, really indicates that. But I also know how deeply programming can go and how much, um, how much confusion it can create. Um, the idea that I spent most of my life in MKUltra not knowing most of what was happening in my life is terrifying. So I'm aware that recovery from mind control is a process, not a one-time event. And, um... I just hope that everyone who watches my channel feels safe enough to listen to what I say um, and take my recovery for what it is. Um, if you don't feel safe, I support you in not watching my content, of course. But I really just hope that this is still helpful. Um, I think that most people would have a hard time finding um, another survivor of mind control who shares like I do, who isn't dealing with some kind of accessing. And I say that not as an ego thing, but honestly, this community is badly underrepresented. There really aren't a lot of people who are completely free. Um, I don't know of anyone who I can say with confidence is completely free. So I just hope that people get hope and healing from what I say, even though I still deal with accessing. And um, I really am sorry if... Um, Programmers have influenced anything that I say. As in, if I have been reprogrammed at any point without my knowledge to trigger people on here, to harm people on here, um, 
that is one of my biggest fears in doing this. And so if that is the case, I just want you all to know that I'm sorry. I would never do that on purpose. And um, I wouldn't even be doing this if I didn't think that I had something to give that outweighed um, whatever harm me speaking out before I'm fully deprogrammed could cause.